What's going on, everyone? It's the Crypto Jedi. Back for another installment, February the 1st, 2018. Um, wanted to start out looking at the market. It's really far down. It's been taken quite the tumble. A lot of bad CF. 446, we dropped over under 450. It's not really all that good. It's just a bloodbath. Um, two days ago, or maybe it was the beginning of yesterday, actually, Stellar was up at 54 cents. So I cut my losses on that and got back into my what I'm trying to hodl is Icon. I still have a decent amount, but it's dropped 24%, so it's just all bad. I've really, really started using Steam. I really like it. I think I'm going to use DTube as well, or at least upload it to DTube. I like YouTube, how simple it is, so that's for sure. Um, there's a lot of FUD going around. Just, It's really weird what's going on with the market, if you ask me. I... I think people really are deciding that they're going to take their profits from before the holidays, I would say, before Thanksgiving or whatnot in America, middle of November. So I think that's really what's going on. I like to look at these things, see if there's anything going on. There's all this stuff is posted on Steam. I suggest you join it. It's a lot of fun. You can start with no money, and it's you. You know you can earn free crypto. It may be really small amounts, but still, free crypto. Also, the other thing I've been like to go on to on here is a uh, look at the airdrop and get free crypto. That's something I've been doing lately. So, if you find a new one, there's airdrops for lots of different coins. If you keep up with that tag, you can get into it and find some. I've gotten some IOST. I've gotten some Crypto Kami, or some Kami coin, or whatever they call it. It's not out. Crypto Kami is not out yet. But you can use this referral link and get 10 free Kami and 50 free Kamis. They're different, and they explain it in their... In their website what the difference is and uh, it lets you can even click right here and uh, it's pretty cool you get free coins that you just kind of hold and you can there's bount there's a bounty right now where you can go and like on Twitter and do other things like friend them on Twitter and do things like this is how many coins they're gonna be given away on reddit and telegram and whatnot so it's pretty cool pretty cool it's in they're coming up in their ICO is going to come up here soon and that's when you can after their ICO ends is when you get your coins but still free coins that you can sit on and hodl for like I said for free it's pretty cool if you ask me um, I did transfer some of my money over from Binance into Steam and I bought some more steam I bought 30 more steam and I have this many steam sitting there because I'm not a hundred percent positive how it works yet but we'll figure that all out together so that's pretty cool and so far it's this is a website it's called steam now and you go up here and you put your username in and it tells you what your upvotes worth and if people upvoted you or not and so if you can post relevant things on on steam that people team seem to like and upvote they can pay you and you can do fun things but it's also a really cool place to actually get news and it's uh, decentralized so you gotta make sure that you're paying attention to what you're clicking on so don't click on any clickbait or anything oh I saw this on Steam which I saw thought was really really pertinent that's the ultra rare Stegosaurus pattern posted by Vlu. That was hilarious. And it is, and so I don't know. By the neck. At any rate, yeah. Let's look at some other things real quick. 
like I said, icons down, but it's coming, you know, it's coming back up this is where it was pretty much this morning when I woke up. And so it's coming back a little bit. It will, I think. EOS is down under 10. That's a good buy. At least I think all these are good buys because I'm pretty bullish on it. So I think the market's going to go back up. But, you know, they're all bad buys if the market just goes down forever. So keep that in mind. Always do your own little research. Find out what's going on. See if see if what you're investing in has an actual product. See if they have a use or a product. Litecoin was down at like 125 bucks today. That's pretty crazy. Oh no, no, that was oh that was uh the ether trades in it, so we're at a low right now. I have a problem with that. When I look at Ethereum, I'm so used to the price going up that it looks different on the graph, but when you look at it to the US dollar, that's how you really judge where it's been and where it might go. At least if you're thinking about fiat. If you're trying to accrue as much Ethereum as possible, then you got to pay attention to that. Same with Bitcoin. Bitcoin's down under $9,000. Ouch. Ouch. It's a, actually, if I would have bought Bitcoin, or when I first bought Bitcoin, I would be losing, I would have already lost 50 bucks or something. <laughs> but at any rate... Oh yeah, Binance did first, they also list Steam today, so Steam's actually on Binance, which is pretty cool, and we can go look at all what's going on, but it actually, I think that's really good, I bought in before it got listed here on Binance, and so we'll see, there it is, everything goes slow for a second sometimes, to 454, it opened up more than that, it's been going down on Binance a little bit. It's actually a little bit more on the Steam platform. So, <laughs> at least what I thought I saw. I thought it was like 502. So you could actually take it out and transfer it over in large enough amounts. Make some money, I think. <laughs> I don't know. There's a special name for that kind of trading. I'm going to look up what that's called. But it's called from switching, uh you know coins from one exchange to another and making money that way because they trade differently on different exchanges why it always helps being signed up on different exchanges i have a kucoin and a cryptopia account but i haven't used them yet so yeah i suggest going there and signing up there i don't kucoin i'll link the kucoin i don't think there's a referral thing for it if you don't have binance yeah, I'll link that down there. There's, I get little referral bonuses for that. And Cryptopia, I don't think there is any referral program for that, but I'll try to link that down in the bottom. Um, let's go look at the cryptocurrency market again. 445, it's just going down. So, good luck everybody. Tron's down to 4 cents. Um, still... Still actually up though through trading and uh, Smart moves I've been able to To make money and even when I first when I first got in Tron I was big on Tron and I still would have made money on Tron So still doing pretty good This market dip Putting everything back down. That's right where I bought dogecoin at so That sucks but yeah, I bought Dogecoin a little bit beforehand. It was one of my first investments in the, for the cryptocurrency market. Just because I suggest buying some just because you want to be cool. I've always said that. Basic attention tokens down to 44 cents. iOS token. Uh, somebody asked me if, they th if I thought it was good to hodl and I can see... The market cap going up to one and a half billion on iOS token, but if the market keeps going the way it is, I mean, if I mean obviously it's not going to continue to go down always, but if we keep having big rise ups and then sharp drop downs, got to be careful with what I'm betting on it being by the end of the year. Even though it, I'm really bullish and I really think it should be, and cryptocurrencies where it's at.
all these different dApps and platforms, it's hard to it's hard to find fault in it really. But there's a, the lending platform Salt. It's down to five bucks. But like I was saying, I don't know if I could stick by my 1.5 thing right now. Check back later. <laughs> my 1.5 billion market cap on I IOST. Zcoin. I can. Um, they're all. They're all down. That's crazy. This one was one that I thought would actually do well. 10x. That's the one where you can pay with your card. You get a card and you can set up which currency you want the balance to come out of and they're cool with that. Obviously they take some money for doing it but a little zero dollar conversion fees. Terms and conditions apply. Yeah. So no additional fees imposed. So I just thought that one would work you know transferring crypto to fiat for the people who don't take crypto which is a lot still thought that would be quite the maneuver but it hasn't moved very much any rate thanks for watching today sorry I didn't have too much to talk about I'll be more upbeat tomorrow <laughs> have a good one